Just how low can private prisons go? Ask the GEO Group. This corporation makes $1.6 billion a year locking people up. Its long record of abusing and neglecting prisoners is second to none. The Coke County facility was a facility run by the GEO Corporation. It was disgusting. There was an infestation of insects everywhere you looked, including the kitchen, insects and the food. It was horrible. East Mississippi Correctional Facility, and it was run by GEO the first two months that I was there. It's dirty, nasty, unsanitary conditions. I mean, people get stabbed in there, they're bleeding, or they get in a fight and they're bleeding. They don't give they don't give no cleaning chemicals to clean the place up or nothing. The sewer kept backing up in the zones, uh, the toilets kept stopping up. The stench was so bad in there. I couldn't eat anymore. A blistering report by the U.S. Justice Department describes systemic, egregious, and dangerous practices at a juvenile prison in Mississippi. Prison staff had sex with incarcerated youth, which investigators called among the worst that we've seen in any facility anywhere in the nation. Coke County, run by GEO, was the worst facility that I've seen in this country, without question, without comparison. It ought to be illegal. Meanwhile, the GEO Group's CEO makes six million a year. How does such an abusive company make that much money? It knows how to play the political game. GEO Group has told its investors that things like the loosening of drug laws and immigration reform could be very bad for its business. GEO Group has hired an army of lobbyists in 17 states while donating to over 400 candidates. If you ask people, should a multi-billion dollar corporation be able to profit from the incarceration of people and turn around and spend some of its profits lobbying for more people to be put in its facilities, I think the average person in the United States says that that's a really bad idea. Private prison corporations like GEO Group thrive when no one pays attention. 